No date nickels are not mint errors. The design of the date, where they put the date on the design of these buffalo nickels, the date would wear off faster than some of the other uh, design features. So it's normal to see no date nickels. It doesn't add any value to them at all. This one has a mint mark, as you can see here, and it is the type two, it's on a plane. Now, if you're looking at the backs of these nickels, if you see a no date with on a mound like this, the type one, then you know that it's a 1913. If it has a mint mark, then you know it's probably a semi-key date. Problem is, without a date on it, they're worth less. Now, they're not worthless, but worth less. So, what some people do, they'll use nicoline, nicodate, and it's an acid. And what they do is they dip it on the coin itself, and it'll end up looking like this. So even if you have, and you see a little bit of the date there, a no date nickel and you nick a date, and it ends up being, let's say the type is S mint mark 1913 on a plane like this, the S or the D, which is the, the two key dates, it's still going to go for a lot less of a premium. So yes, you can nick a date, you can reveal better dates that way. Uh, they have mint marks, so typically people buy them, no date nickels all the time with a mint mark on the back just to see if they can get a 13 S or D and then they put them up on eBay. But if you go to eBay and see, they will sell for less. So a no date Buffalo nickel is not worth more. It's actually worn. It's just a circulated example and not a mint error or variety. So thanks for watching my latest video. Hope you learned something. Please like, share and comment and have a great day.